The first property is if you have A greater than B and we have C which is a positive number, if we add C on both sides of our inequalities, A plus C is always greater than B plus C. Example, if you have 4 greater than 3, and we add a positive 2 on both sides of our inequalities. 4 plus 2 is always greater than 3 plus 2. As 6 is definitely greater than 5. The second property is. If you have A greater than B. And C which is a positive number. We can multiply C on both sides of our inequalities. A, C is always greater than B, C. The example, if we have 4 greater than 3, then we multiply both sides of our inequalities with positive 2. 4 times 2 is always greater than 3 times 2 as 8 is always greater than 6. The third property, if we have A greater than B and now let's have C is a negative number. If we multiply C on both sides of our inequality, AC is less than BC. Let's take a look of the example. If we have 4 greater than 3 and we multiply both sides of our inequality with negative 2, 4 times negative 2 is less than 3 times negative 2. Therefore, negative 8 is clearly less than negative 6. Same goes if we have A greater than B. B and a negative number C. If we divide both sides of our inequality with C, A over C must be less than B over C. Example, if we have 4 greater than 3 and we divide both sides of our inequalities with a negative number, 4 divided by negative 2 is less than 3 divided with negative 2. We're going to have Negative 2 is less than negative 1.5. So do remember, if both sides of our inequality are multiplied or divided by negative number, the inequality sign must be reversed. The fourth property, if you have A greater than B and we take reciprocal on both sides of our inequality, 1 over A, will be less than 1 over B, with the condition A and B is not equal to 0. The example, if we have 4 greater than 3, if we take reciprocal on both sides of our inequality, 1 over 4 will always be less than 1 over 3. Thank you.